And here is a special process video where uh, I implemented the client asking questions for the video. And so that inspired me to uh, do it for all of them. I mean for the whole um, product of process video product. So if you go there, you'll be able to ask questions now. And so with this one, the client asked, uh, if my character is a short guy like 5'4", how many head measurements should I make him? And then they ask, do you measure in that method? And so, yeah, I actually, I do kind of sort of measure with the head method, but it's not exact. Like, I used to make it exact, and I kept seeing how fucked up that was. How It just started, I started seeing how fucked up the image looked so um right now so now when i do use the head method it's like very loose it's just to make sure my eyes is telling me the truth <laughs> like from whatever and so to answer the first question if my guy is five four how many head measurements the same as any other uh, the only difference with a short person of um that isn't a midget is that their head they're just a smaller person <laughs> and a midget would be different because their biology is different but um but with like say kevin hart and i even checked this so if you just google kevin hart um you'd see that his head measurements fit his his head fits his body and so and if you and there's like several pictures of him with a taller person one with uh, david beckham and if you measure them both, you see that they their heads fit their body, and it's around the um, the arena of what the head measurement thing is of like seven, seven and a half head. So it's good to not be exact in that. Like it's, I learned that just with time rather than someone telling me, fortunately. But um, yeah, so it's like it's just a round. It's just the ballpark area that helps you see something that looks right. So, um, yeah, so with a short guy, you don't need, um, with a short guy, there's no difference. They're just a smaller person. And you could test this by switching out the heads. Like if you put Kevin Hart's head on David Beckham or even The Rock's head, body, you see like how small his head is compared to the body. And so... And I'm sure there are people who have, um, who are born in a certain way, who uh, have a p bigger or a smaller head than um, average. But you know, that's what's fun about anatomy. It's not exact. It's never exact. Like with, um, you just um, get what looks right. <laughs> and hell, sometimes even with anatomy, things don't look right. But if it fits with like the character you're doing like with their backstory and like how they were born, then go for it. But if you wanted them to be like an average anatomy, then you just go with what looks right. Like with this guy, um, I still, when I colored it, I still, f like right here looks okay, um, the torso. But when I colored it and I see it, it looks weird to me. But that's just me. I, <laughs> I'm, I try to be too, I try not to be exact, like I'm never, uh, I never try to be exact, I just go with what looks right to me, and so that's why, um, so I've been doing this for so long, the head measurement thing is, it's a subconscious thing now, where it's not, um, thankfully, like I mentioned, at first I was exact in it, and then with time I started to see how weird my the characters proportions were like I would see real life pictures of muscled bodied men and I'll see how wide their chest could be and then I realized that sometimes the head measurement doesn't start from the head into the chin it starts like from the collarbone and and skips the neck area because you see like some guys they have a wide long chest but the chest matched the head more or less but it, so you have to skip the neck <laughs> but anyway and uh i'm 
really thankful. I love, I think I love mouse eye, I mean bird eye view more in drawing. And with this piece, um, I, like if it was a pro piece, I think I could have tweaked it and improved the um, anatomy a bit better. And I probably would have used this figurine I have. It's just a toy, but still. Um, I can at least know I have a general area of correctness. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I do love, I still love Flory hair. And so that's my favorite part of this. And the tats. And I'm thankful the client gives me um, free reign with the tats. Um, as opposed to the, um, what's in the rough. Because um, I just like to explore different tats. And it's good practice, <laughs> and just to play around with what works well with a body, because um, I love tats that work with the person's individual um, body shape. And with this, oh yeah, and they had it. And with this piece, they wanted the uh, head, um, a head shot, and <laughs> I wasn't too sure how I was going to go about it. I was like, fuck it, I'll just, um, have them looking up, <laughs> uh, cause, uh, and there's still a lot of things, um, I want to work on with, um, faces, like I feel I do too few lines, it's like it feels there's something I'm missing that's a line or something, but, uh, thank you very much, and it was fun answering questions, thank you, bye.